One thing that really surprised me that I learned here, or at least that I put in a different light, was to hear the organic chemist Steve Venner say that some of the suggestions of biosignatures that we should be looking for are actually not appropriate if you're talking about finding life in the very early stages after its development, because we are highly evolved. Life on Earth is highly evolved, and it's, even the environment is highly evolved, so biosignatures that would be adequate here in an Earth-based laboratory um, may not work if you go to a place, let's say, like Enceladus, and you're still there in, in a stage of development or of evolution of life there is only microbial. And we're talking about life at the bottom of the ocean. There's no sunlight there, so it's not light. It, it's not life that uses light. Uh, and it's not clear even that there's enough oxygen there for the kind of life that we have here on the surface of the Earth to take hold. So we have to be very careful in establishing what kind of biosignatures we should look for. And I just never thought about that, that we, um, we need to be very careful and think about the biosignatures that would have been present in the very early stages of life before, let's say, even oxygen took over uh, our planet. And even before we had DNA, maybe. Um, it's really, it's a fascinating thing to think about, but I hadn't thought about it quite that way.